And we are back, everybody, with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Let's go ahead and start up with the next mission here. Alright, more voice acting. I'll try. Wow, that's... Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. What is wrong with that guy's outfit? Oh. What, are you telling me the Resistance is headed this way? Quickly, tell Master Scott to send us reinforcements immediately! Yes, sir! That's a weird voice. <laughs> uh, the commander at Fort Shaloum is Atenza, a former mage of the Imperial Order. Atenza is a marshal, but a very weak one. He is ill-suited to command the defense at the fort. We should be able to take the fort quite easily. Uh, I think I got his voice wrong, I'm sorry. However, we have received word that a messenger was sent from the fort, most likely to request reinforcements. If the reinforcements get here, we have little hope of winning. We must take the fort as quickly as possible. So, yeah. Pretty straightforward mission. First thing you want to do here is... Buy a barricade. And buy a healer. Now, they're going to make a straight beeline right for your base, which is really annoying, but... Uh, if I would have built a cannon, it probably wouldn't have charged up enough to shoot one of these guys, so I figured it'd be better to just uh, go at him with the barricade and healer. Uh, since Shimon here is in the last row, he'll be doing the fighting, which is good because he's got some powerful guys. Anyway, we want to send Mai's unit down here-ish. Uh, there's a couple monsters to recruit in this level. And you need Mai, I believe. Uh, I know there's a Harpy Lady in Saga the Thunder, I think, that you can recruit somewhere west and southwest of that neutral town down there. So while Mai is off doing that, um, wow, there's what one, two, three, four, five guys. And yeah, there's nothing real special about these guys. Yeah, they've got some healing items, but uh, I'll probably just fast forward this part since it's going to be a lot of boring battles. All right. Well, at least we're fighting some new stuff, I think. Harpy's pet dragon, tanky black man. Well, not entirely new. Uh, just go for it. Ah, emulator, slow down. Celtic guardian. See, we've already killed one, halfway killed the other. Stupid blue medicine. What's our score? Pretty good. Alright, let's take out that Blackman Fire Dragon. Silver Fang, finish him! You know, for a monster named Silver Fang, you would think he'd be biting his enemies. Instead of sending a sh sonic shockwave, but whatever. You gotta do better than that, Mr. Dragon Man. Alright, one guy down, four to go, jeez. So, I'll save off of anything important to talk about until after these battles, since, uh, I'm probably gonna be speeding these up anyway, like I said. Check these guys out. Dragon Piper, Tal the Chanter, Aquamator. Hmm. Alright, um, attack that guy. Or, I think that's a girl, actually. Dang it, almost killed him. Her it. Ultimate Unity! That name makes no sense for that kind of an attack, but uh, whatever.
You're the only one left, Hal. <laughs> he dies in one hit. Good job, Barrel Imp. Next. Let's see, I think that's Axe Raider, Garuzis, and I don't know the third guy. Swordsman from a foreign land. Poor guy doesn't even have a name, they just call him Swordsman. Uh, attack the Swordsman, sure. And he's down. Uh, attack Garuzi. That was a monster that Joey used in the anime series. At least once or twice, he didn't use it much. Crap, he's gonna heal himself. Oh god, you've almost killed Silver Fang. That's not good. If I'm lucky, I can use the healer between rounds. Not Silver Fang. Urgh. You're gonna pay for that. You killed my wolf. Let me heal Silver Fang, please. Oh, not him. There we go. See, that's why you buy the healer, for cases like that. Sorry if it's a little boring with the same guy fighting all these guys, but it would take four times as long if I used one of the other groups, except for maybe Yugi. And I'm saving Yugi to fight the commander. Are you kidding me? 14 hit points? By the way, shouldn't we be fighting in like a castle or a town, not by some window out in the plains? Kind of misleading, don't you think? Are you freaking... Ah. Silverfang has to clean up everybody's mess, it seems. Ah, uh, you're gonna guard, huh? Well, guard that. Yeah, I'm just slaughtering him. Hooray, victory! Yeah, I wish they'd have done a much better job with the AI in this game, instead of just beelining straight towards your base on this level. And other levels do kind of the same thing. Not all, but some. Could have been a lot more strategic if they put a little more time into figuring, like, more stuff out with maybe, like, the towns. Uh, attack this guy. Oh no, it's the Shredder! Die, Shredder! Yeah, they could've also used more variety in the monsters. I mean, this is what, the maybe third time we're fighting a Harvey's Pet Dragon on this particular mission? I suppose they were really limited on the monster choice when they made the game, but, uh, oh well. Hooray, we win again. Are we finally done? Looks like it. Okay. Um, Yugi, we don't want you to fight the guy yet, but just go in a general direction. Just kind of hang out at that forest. Okay, it's somewhere to the west here. It might be a little further west, actually. Come on, Mai. Somewhere around here is Sangha and the Thunder. Uh, really? Is he here? I know he's like right in these mountain range. I wanted to at least get this guy on screen instead of off screen like I did Baby Dragon, which I didn't mean to do that, it just kind of happened. Come on! By the way, Tristan, you can go down there. Give Tristan something to do. Are you kidding me? 
I have to go further west? There we go, finally. I knew he was around there. Alright, Sangha of the Thunder, one of three uh, Gate Guardian monsters. Uh, let's check his stats out. Comes at level 40. Wow, that's uh, this is going to be kind of difficult. Uh, my group isn't all that powerful, really. Although I did equip uh, Cyber or Harpy Lady with some uh, equipment like Cyber Shield and an Electro Whip, which paralyzes the enemy if you're lucky. Like that! Hooray! Now he he's helpless before us. You would think someone named Sangha of the Thunder would not have a problem with paralysis, but nope. Uh, interesting story. Um, the Japanese version of Harpy Lady, they uh, she had exposed breasts, but in the English version, they covered her up. So I guess if you're extremely desperate, you can uh, you can uh, get arousal from the Harpy Lady card in the Japanese version, but uh, I don't. Nah, not my kind of thing, sorry. Yay, Curse of Dragon Gang the Star. An attack star. Hooray, Sangha joined the army. Now if I can get his two brothers, then we can uh, do a fusion. Now I think the Harpy Lady, they said, from what I read, was southwest of this town. Something like that. Unfortunately, we kind of have to hurry because if we wait too long, these guys will come back to life and come after us. And I think there's also some mention of reinforcements. Aha! Occupied, I'm so glad you're alright. Iro. Wow, what a weird name. You're already in the resistance. Thank you so much for bringing my sister. I am yours to command. So there, we gained the second harpy lady. I think there's three. Alright, my... We want to take that town before we have Yugi assault the base. Uh, you know, if speeding those uh, battles up it makes this a fairly short episode. Um, let's see, I, I can go back to what I was talking about with the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Let's see, we, we discussed a, a bit of Season Zero and a bit of the first episode of the anime. Um, the general premise of the anime, basically, uh, 5,000 years ago, the, the pharaoh stopped some kind of great evil, and and they used to play card games back then, except they were, like, real, like the monsters in the, on the cards were actual monsters or something, uh, and the pharaoh sealed away that power 5,000 years ago, and now when he got reunited with Yugi, somehow the, that ancient magic is coming back, except the, the way to use it is to actually play physical card games. It's a really convoluted kind of storyline, I mean, it doesn't make much sense, but this is the kind of world where everything, every problem in the world can be solved by card games, so. Uh, what's this guy's voice? What? They're already here? Well, go get them! Protect me from these rebels! I don't think so. You're going to get annihilated, buddy. Probably kill him in one or two turns with just Karibo. Yay! Um, I will go more into detail, I guess, with Yu-Gi-Oh! in general at a more later time, but I've given the, the basics, so you guys should have a general understanding of what what this is all based off of now. Uh, there's still the card game I can go over, but that's kind of difficult to really explain much of the card game without actually showing cards and showing gameplay of that. Um, maybe sometime I'll do like a short let's play of, of the actual card game. I did do a few videos a long time ago of me playing a couple guys on the on one of the DS games. You, if you look through all my old playlists, you can probably find those. Uh, I did a few videos with uh, Kuchiri, 
um, where we did the uh, Xbox 360 card game. So you can get a general idea of what the card game is like from those, I guess. Hooray! We liberated the town! And I guess that's the end of that. We defeated a weak mage guy and his army of weak dragons and stuff and recruited two monsters and that's the end of that. Counterattack. Okay. Having shaken off their pursuers, Yugi gathers his remaining forces and begins their counterattack. Scott's massive army is harried. Harried? I don't know what that word means. Is harried by Yugi's nimble units and begins to show signs of fatigue. Really? Okay. They are fewer in number, but the powerful and courageous resistance should be able to confront Scott's forces. The plan is to lure Scott into the Marinden fields and then crush him once and for all. Okay, if you say so. Alright, so for this level we can have up to eight guys. Um, who should I pick? I'll of course do the episode in the next video, but uh, here, we'll send him. We really don't need to. We'd get more money if we don't. Just in case, I'll, I'll pick him. So, uh, we'll go over stuff in the next episode. I might move in those new monsters to somebody's unit, and uh, we'll just continue from there. So, I will see you guys next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.